Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the five pros and the five cons for living in Gilbert's very own Power Ranch. And this is totally based on uh, my bias for living in Gilbert's. So I didn't take this from a website. I didn't look at the top uh, places to live or anything like that. This is just from my personal experience living here in Gilbert. And I hope to share that with you. And I hope you guys come away with a few things that'll make your move to uh, Gilbert or possibly Power Ranch a little bit easier. So stay tuned. <laughs> So hey, if this is your first time tuning into the Escape to Arizona YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell to get notifications every time we put out a video. I put out one to two videos per week and it has to do with everything Arizona and my goal is to make your move to Arizona a little bit easier. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out. My phone number is below. We're getting calls, texts, emails pretty much on a daily basis and I love to help people out. And we have a whole team here and we can help you out too. So please do reach out if you have any questions at all. So let's go over the pros. We're gonna hit it up with the pros first and then we're gonna go into the cons, okay? So the first pro of living here in Power Ranch and you can see I'm on them right now are the beautiful walking paths that we have. So one thing, uh, I have a lot of clients that come here and I'll show them Power Ranch first just because I'm pretty biased towards it. I live here, it's the community that we chose to raise our family in and I'll show them Power Ranch, I'll show them all the cool walking trails and I actually have two videos uh, that you could take a look at which are right here if you wanna learn a little bit more about the trails here and just the community in general. But uh, yeah, these walking trails are the best. They're supposed to be 26 and a half miles of walking trails here but I, I don't know if that's accurate or not. I mean, I haven't measured it out but it seems like this community has the most walking trails, uh, more than any other community in Gilbert. So you're gonna get the walking trails for sure, and, and you're gonna love it. Because if you wanna take that evening walk, that evening stroll, or if you wanna go in the morning for a jog, of course you can just hit the trails running, and uh, everybody's happy. People wave to you as you're on these trails, and here you can see right here, so this is the, going to the north, and then this is going to the south. So this is kind of the main vein that runs through Power Ranch. And what's pretty cool is that it goes under Germain. So if your kids want to go on their bikes and go uh, actually to one of the pools, they just go right under Germain. So pro number one is all the super fun walking trails that we have here. And what you can see that's pretty cool about all these walking trails is that they're typically surrounded by all this green space. So you not only have walking trails, but you have a lot of green space. And of course, right now it's winter, so they haven't planted the winter grass, so it's a little bit more of brown space. But uh, usually these grasses are green, and I mean, you can plant, you can have the kids plant them, you can plant them, whatever, uh, baseball, soccer. And, and I mean, you can go in the grass right now too, even though it is dormant, the Bermuda's dormant, you can still use the grass. So definitely a really cool spot to, to hang out at and uh, go for a walk. And for the next pro of living in Power Ranch, I actually teleported over to our neighborhood park. So this is the Vineyards Park. And in each one of the neighborhoods, and I think there's like 10 neighborhoods here, there is an individual park which has a little bit of a playground structure and some type of green space. And I mean, it's just the most parks that I've ever seen. I think the only community that has more parks than uh, Power Ranch is probably Eastmark because Eastmark has a park like every two blocks. Uh, and it's just kind of crazy but there are a ton of parks here and uh you can you know obviously the playground structures you can use the green space i mean look at this green space behind me uh, i'll show you guys kind of the drone flyover of this park too but it is just amazing how many parks are here and if you're sick of a park you can always take one of the walking trails that i mentioned in the previous pro and you can just mosey on over to another park and one of the favorite parks uh, of mine is the orchards park because it's just kind of surrounded by palm trees and looks really cool uh, and it just kind of gives you that uh you know um I, I guess west coast vibe like you're like you're on the beach although you're not you're in arizona but uh definitely doesn't feel like arizona here at this park and uh definitely a really great pro and one of the things i love about living here is all the parks and there's even besides these parks uh tot lots and just a ton of green space to hang out in third pro which are the two pools that are available here at Power Ranch. They're really nice. One of them is open year round. I believe it's a junior Olympic size swimming pool and it has a little bit of a play pool, baby pool uh, that only goes about a foot deep. So that is really cool. And we also have a, we call it the barn pool, but that is a pool that's gonna have 
uh, some sea creatures in it spitting out water and it's a little you know obviously for the younger kids more of a play pool and it actually has a little bit of a deep end to it as well so you do get some teens that hang out there and uh, it's pretty much a big party there on Sundays it's a lot of fun and I, I think you know the fact that you get both of these pools in with your HOA fees is really cool and if you live in the Knolls which is a separate section of Power Ranch you'll actually uh, get three access to three more pools so that's really nice although your HOA fees are gonna be about 50 bucks higher to live there another thing that's great about living here and that leads us into our fourth pro are the schools so there are two elementary schools here and what I notice uh, in any family-friendly neighborhood is that the, the master plan community will also have an elementary school so really if you're looking for something and you have elementary school children if you have an elementary school within your master plan community uh, chances are 9 out of 10 you're going to be in a family friendly community probably 10 out of 10 to be exact so we have two really nice schools the first is Centennial I do believe that's an 8 or 9 out of 10 on the great schools rating that's north of Germain and then south of Germain we have uh, Power Ranch Elementary which I believe is a 10 out of 10 on the great schools rating so a lot uh, you know a lot of a lot of people go to those schools that live here and of course it's open enrollment so you can really send your kid if you're not happy with those schools you can send them wherever you want to but two really nice schools and you have access to those and the fifth and final reason why I think Power Ranch is so cool is that you have a lot of different budgets that can live here so there are some apartments um, on the east side of Power Ranch San Clemente apartments um, Sky Ranch is is to the east as well but a little bit further north than the uh, San Clemente apartments it's uh, just across Germain and I think the Sky Ranch apartments are a little bit more luxurious uh, San Clemente is more of the affordable apartments but uh, you have those and also if, if, if you you know want to just get in kind of looking for a budget-friendly home uh, they do have townhouses condos in the upper twos and then you know once you get into the single-family detached homes you're starting in the threes and those really go all the way up to about uh, $900,000, just depending on how crazy you want to get. If you want to get a 6,000 square foot Toll Brothers home, uh, you know, you have that here as well. So definitely a wide variety of homes, single story, two story homes, and uh, a lot of different neighborhoods uh, with, with different homes. So it's, it's a, you know, any, any budget can live here. It's not really restricted to just being uh, super rich. Uh, it's it's uh, well affordable for, for any person let's talk about the cons of living here so the first con that i can uh, think of is uh, on ranch house parkway and germain uh you're gonna see kind of an ugly entrance and basically what that is is after the uh, whole subprime mortgage crisis happened uh left a little bit of land undeveloped and i heard last that those were the, the land here was supposed to be turned into patio homes but uh i think something fell through with that so not quite sure what's going on but there are two uh, undeveloped parcels of land which are you know they have little parks in them and i think the uh they, they have the streets in there but they just don't have any homes so uh, hopefully that gets developed here in the next couple years and uh, you know we can fit some more families in here but as of now that is just an undeveloped piece of land so I think people get turned off when they first turn into Power Ranch when they see these two undeveloped properties so that would be con number one so con number two is that uh, Power Ranch is a little bit far from all of the shopping you can't really get anywhere within walking distance uh, it's about a four square mile uh, plot of land so you know it's a pretty big place and if you live in the middle of it you definitely need transportation uh, unfortunately there's no little heritage district or little downtown district here in power ranch to go get coffee and uh, other items like that however you could go down to higley and queen creek road and there are some shops down there but that's you know about a couple miles two three miles away from power ranch so you definitely still need some form of transportation so let's talk about the third con which is kind of annoying about living here is that we have a super cool clubhouse and this clubhouse has been closed uh, I want to say for like two years I it was pre-COVID that they closed they actually couldn't find a staff member I had heard this from one of the the actual the lifestyle director told me they could not find a staff member to uh, work it I actually found the ad online and uh, yeah they, they couldn't find somebody to work it so um they just had it closed which kind of stinks because uh you know kids would go in there kind of play and uh, they had some board games and stuff and they actually had a little bit of a, a, a little theater in there too that you can go and sit down and watch movies you could reserve it and now with COVID, of course that's the excuse that they're just keeping it closed so it's kind of annoying that we have this nice little clubhouse and we can't use it 
was definitely sounding weird in that tunnel. So yeah, there is a spot next to the clubhouse which has uh, kind of like a commercial kitchen in there. And sometimes they'll have events there. You could have birthday parties there and stuff. There's a little yoga room, uh, which, you know, a room with, uh, I think like ballet bars on the sides. It's got some mirrors. So they'll still throw some events in there. And I, I believe you can rent that out if you're doing it privately. Uh, so, so that's kind of fun, but it would be nice to have the actual little clubhouse area open, uh, which has access to what used to be some, some fun items. So, bummer. So if you want to call it a con, the HOA is a little bit aggressive. And by aggressive, I mean uh, they'll get you if, you know, your paint on your house isn't looking fresh, if your grass isn't green, if it's um, not growing even. So they've, they've hit me with, uh, and it's not fines, it's just like a little, uh, a little notice. If you get three notices within a 90-day period, then they fine you. So you have a lot of time to fix anything, but, you know, that can annoy some people. And HOAs aren't for everybody, but uh, I, I find it here it's kind of nice because you do have those neighbors who, you know, may not like to keep their grass up, may not like to keep their house looking nice. And uh, if you haven't seen my video on HOAs, please check it out, pros and cons. But uh, I, I like it here. I like that they're a little bit aggressive, but uh, some people might not. And so the final con that you may not like is there is no parking allowed on the streets here at night. And there's actually a little security guard that'll drive around. And uh, I believe at night, yeah, they'll they'll give you a little like warning, a little, not a fine, but just a warning. And once again, you got to get three within a 90 day period before they actually fine you. So um, I get one, you know, every so often, but uh, I've never had any issues where they've actually given me a fine. So uh, what you're going to run into is if you have some teenage kids or, you know, kids that are in, coming of age where they're turning 16 and they're getting their license and uh, then you have to get them a car and then you don't have a place to park the car if your garage is full of storage. So that definitely becomes a problem for some people. So just something to keep in mind, you know, as you're looking at a house is that you, you're going to want to grow into it and you're going to want to make sure that, uh, you know, it's got a big enough pad to, to fit all the cars. And a lot of the a lot of the homes here do have like some of them have like four spots on the driveway and then you know ours only has two actually so my kids are quite a ways away from actually driving so not too worried about that neighbors next door have three kids and a three car garage and i think there's like four places to park on the pad so it's just it works out really well for them it's it's not a problem but yeah you just got to make sure that uh you have somewhere to park Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop.